Hello, welcome to my channel. There was a big disagreement that almost led to a fight on Arise TV during the morning show between the guests Adams Oshomole and the Arise crew. A lot were discussed and honestly, everyone needs to see because we don't even know what to believe or trust anymore in this country. And just like the saying goes, one thing we hate in this country is the truth. At the moment, we realize that this truth is the only thing that can set us free. That is the moment we begin to progress in this country. It was as if he came prepared to have a fight with everyone. He said, everything Tinubu is doing for us in this country is, is what we deserve and is trying his best and for that we need to applaud him. He said, the protest was never a peaceful one from the beginning. A lot of pressing issues were discussed. Please kindly take a listen and let us know what you think about it in the comments. The whole conversation at this point because we don't even know who to believe or trust anymore today. They are going to support Tinubu. Tomorrow they are going to say another thing. This is becoming too much. Kindly take a listen and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more updates. The show here on Arise News. That's my President Tinubu's address. Protesters under the hashtag and by governance in Nigeria are bent on continuing the nationwide protest which enters its seventh day today. The determination to continue the protest follows a Sunday statement by the organizers signed by Asin Taiwo, Ayoyin Kauni and Adegwe Gadeniji on behalf of the hashtag and bad governance in Nigeria organizing committee saying the address by President Bola Tinubu is yet to meet their demands. They said they listened with rapt attention to President Tinubu's broadcast on Sunday and considered it rather unfortunate that it took the president three days of protest for him to address the country. Some of the demands of the protesters include the reversal of the removal of petrol subsidies and a slash in the salary of public officials at the helm of affairs in Nigeria. Joining us now on this show as we review a means of resolving the protest and ensure the flood in order to prevent anarchy is Senator Adams Oshomale, former governor of Edo State and the senator representing Edo North Senatorial District at the National Assembly. Good morning, Comrade Senator. Good to have you on the morning show. Thank you very much, Dr. Ruben Abati. Pretty long time. <laughs> Quite a long time. Although I watch you all the time. We were expecting you yesterday, but it's good yes. you are here today. Well, very quickly, what's your take on the state yeah. of the nation, the Thank protests, you. and people talking about end bad governance, people talking about regime change, and the security agencies saying nobody under their watch will accept what they call regime change or the... Uh, uh, or, or the uh, you know flying of the Russian flag within this territory called uh, Nigeria. The president also has spoken. What do you think of his speech? Do you think he has met the protesters halfway, or is just the same uh, tradition of uh, making promises that hope will be renewed? Thank you very much, Dr. Abati. Let me congratulate you for what you said yesterday. I, I watch you. I have always done that. It's always a lightning. Namely that it must be clear to everybody that the only way to effect a change of government is to go through elections as provided for in the Constitution. There is no room for regime change. There is no room for military takeover of government in Nigeria. We have gone under military rule for several years. If it was a solution since 1996 or till 1999, Nigeria would be Dorado. So for the courage with which you speak, you did this out of defense. I was quite pleased with that, along with uh, your colleagues on this program. Now, on, on Wednesday, just on the 2nd of August, before the protest began, I saw many people, including some of your colleagues, calling for peaceful protest, emphasizing that the Constitution guaranteed the right to peaceful protest. I found myself in a very difficult situation because, uh, Ruben, more than anybody else, you and I have interfaced even during protests uh, in front of Guardian newspapers. I have led so many countless protests, whether in the public sector, in the private sector, at the national level. However, I did say then, that was on the 2nd of August, 
Like, let nobody talk about peaceful protest. It is impossible. Why did I say that? Whereas I recognize the right to peaceful protest, which I exploited and I enjoyed it, I expanded it, I practicalized it. I also said, when you exercise those right to protest, we must also look at what are the demands. And I'm happy that I said, after seeing, because these people are faceless, I look at the totality of the different voices we can put together from the social media. And I said, my summary, my takeaway from it is that a lot of these guys are only hiding other hunger, other unemployment. What they actually ask is for is regime change. And I said, you cannot legally, lawfully, and peacefully deny regime change under the Nigeria constitution. And that those who have lost presidential election, those two candidates who spoke in favor of so-called peaceful protests, I have had the opportunity to interface with them when I was president of the NLC. And at different fora, each of these guys lectured me about the need to avoid, quote, miscreant, quote, hoodlum from taking over whatever we consider to be a legitimate thing. And I said, sociologically, it is absolutely impossible for an amorphous group, I emphasize amorphous in the sense that, and it's not a, de a degrading word, amorphous is that they are not organized, they are not structured, the faces are unknown, they talk from time to time, different guys talk, both within the country and outside the country. And so who are you going to engage? And they are not accountable to anyone, they are not elected by anyone to whom they will report to as to at what point do we start, at what point do we stop, and where was the fora where they gathered to meet and agree on this demand? And my summary of it is that what they were demanding cannot be achieved peacefully and it was illegal demand to demand regime change. Because also some of them say, for example, they want to revise a repeal of the 1999 constitution. And I said, you cannot peacefully demand that because the power to change the 1999 constitution, if that is what Nigeria wants, is not vested in the president of Nigeria. The only way to have made the Nigeria constitution is as provided for in the Nigeria constitution. That power is not with the executive. That power is not even with the federal legislature alone. That power has to be shared by both national and state legislatures. And a lot of eminent Nigeria, where many Nigeria, even though I don't agree with them, have covered various ways whether we should return back to regionalism, whether we should uh, report back to parliamentary system. All those are legitimate ways to express people's opinion. But I see confusion among the elite because it is this same elite, including a good session of the media, that celebrated Roti Me Williams, 21-man wise men, who ordered the military after consulting Nigerians, quote and unquote, those Nigerians are the elite, the speaking class, those who are invited to conferences, who told us that given Nigeria experiences that led to the overthrow of the parliamentary system in 1996, but we now need to have a strong president, a strong center. And so they move away from the parliamentary system to presidential system. And they enumerated how beautiful the America system is. And so here we are. If people, for whatever reason, and these are not things that are done by people carry sticks, people carry green leaves, this has to be done by people who are really seasoned and who are knowledgeable about those issues. Now, what has the 1999 Constitution do, do with the fact of wealth subsidy? What has it going to do with the fact that somebody is hungry? If you change overnight, assume it's about changing from Nepal to generator, will that bring food on the table? No. Those Kavasi, these views, I was clear. I know those guys who are hungry. I saw a young man in, 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 in Plateau, and I was excited that that young man, which shouldn't be more than 22, 25. And he, he, he looked like a graduate, by the way, listening to his language. He said, we have spoken. We don't want this to get out of hand. After the first day, I believe the president has listened. Now, the second question is about the president's speech. I commend wholeheartedly, from the bottom of my heart, the patience of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and the way in which he addressed those issues. Now, let me explain why. All right. He tried to, first, he acknowledged, he, he acknowledged that there, are, there is hardship in the country. He didn't dismiss it. It's important that a leader acknowledge the legitimacy of what people are saying. However, he said, I have listened. I have heard you. A leader, a father who is talking to children who are crying, 
my, my children, I have heard you. I have this is stop crying. I will do something. There is no, if today I am the president, if today, uh, Dr. Abati, you are qualified to be president, you are faced overnight with those numbers. I say, we are hungry today. What do you do today, today? In any case, the immediate thing the president has to do, which some of us don't even agree to. All right. We now have to seek governors, okay. president commissioning distribution of rice. Okay. I would like to see commissioning of industrial, of factories that will provide job. Commissioning return to agriculture. All right, but Senator. the government of President Tinubu had to resort to what they now call palliatives, All right, which Senator has become Shumai. a me, new source here, of candor in many states. Yes, Senator, thank you so much for your Thank honor. you. Um, I, I think a number of things that, hearing from your response to the first question, is that there might be a mix of um, those who hijacked the protest and the people who actually went out to peacefully protest. Because for those people, it wasn't a regime change in particular they were looking at. And with regards to their demands, it was, that was the number one. Hunger featured prominently on the list of what people wanted the president to tackle. In fact, in some cases, it was called the hunger protests. So that had, didn't have a conversation around regime change. Cost of living crisis, insecurity were issues that were raised with regards to why people were going out to protest. So saying that um, it was just particularly about ending a regime is not factual, it's not accurate. Then with regards to who are those who were the leaders, if you look at Occupy Nigeria, who were the leaders of Occupy Nigeria? There, was very, there, were, there are similarities here because there were many figures whose faces were you know, in front of that protest, but not many people who came out to say that they're the ones who were in charge or fronting or consulted with the people to come out with demands. The people had a shared um, challenge and shared purpose and they came out to protest, which was the same thing that happened. And so coming back to what you said, as a comrade yourself who exploited the opportunity and the constitutional, constitutional provision for peaceful protests, it's interesting to hear you now say that what they were saying was, you know, the people shouldn't have come out for an end of regime. That wasn't really the thing. Because Senator Oshomele, are Nigerians hungry? The level of poverty has it increased since you know, Occupy, uh, Occupy Nigeria protests, where our situation is not worse now than they were then. Do you think people are justified to come out to peacefully protest, not to necessarily remove the government of the day, but to express themselves and to have their voices heard? Oh, yeah, thank you very much. I watch you every day and uh, I have the opportunity to engage with you today. Uh, you've been doing a fantastic job. I don't always agree with your views, but that is what makes democracy rich and robust and we must defend it, yeah. the right to differ. Your evaluation with due respect, with profound respect is wrong. As the Yorubas, my part of the country, do people we say, and I think Abiola of Blessed Memory popularizes, that when you see some birds dashing on the highway, the drummers are not far from the bush. Without those drummers, those birds will not dance. Now, it is not about whether there is hunger. I said so. If the president acknowledges it, who are you and I to deny it? That is not the issue. The issue is the people use what they see as what everybody can feel. And why do you think, Ayo, that President Tinubu resorted to giving state government 570 billion naira to, to do quick win palliatives? Why has it become suddenly? In my days, I, know, I don't know how many times President Obasanjo, when I was NAC president, where to buy rights to distribute to Nigerians. He said, well, I should go and farm, which is the legitimacy to do. But this government, realizing the pains and so on, has had to resort to these measures in the short run. In the long run, it has to be that we produce what we eat and we eat what we produce. But this cannot be decreed by 10 days protesters. The president has spoken. Why I said it is not legitimate, and I have no question about that. At no time in my protest history did I demand that there should be regime change. If I see politicians try to hijack by their comments and so on, I was always quick to say, look, but, so we are not here to change the policy change. maker. Which we are here group? to, at, excuse me, Ayo, you have to arrest me. Yes, I, I'm just wanting to, problem. because they that's are, the question I asked you, who are They are faceless, and I said, understand me, no, no, no. The point, my summary, you didn't take note of it. Mm. And I want to repeat it again. Please go ahead. 
when you have an armor force group on known faces, now you refer to Occupy Nigeria. I saw people like Pastor, a pastor who, 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 who had contested for vice president with uh, um, Pastor Bakari. He was pastor, pastor in Lagos. I can't remember pastor his name. Pastor Tunde Bakari. Bakari. Yes. And uh, uh, you will recall when I was in NLC, not only is my face known, we share platform with Professor Wolesho Ikan now at 90. I'm happy he's, he's saying gracefully and God will continue to bless him and give him good health. I share platform with Femi Falada. I share platform with uh, Beko or Asomkuti or something like that. One of the Bekos who was very active, a medical doctor. Yes. And I remember one occasion on the front of Alausa, uh, Ganifa Emi collapsed in the course of addressing workers. So these are Nigerians that are known. They have responsibility. But sir, EIE he Nigeria came out. For sir, human he, rights. Sir. Wait, he spoke for I, I anger. I just want to just excuse challenge me. that point. In this occasion, yes, excuse sir. me. I just Even want to. Even the name, excuse me. Yes. You okay. can challenge anything, but you must listen to my point. I've listened. No, no, no. This is meant to be an engagement. You know, a question, excuse me, a question cannot be as long as the answer. The answer must be longer than the question. Check yours when you were, when you were a student. When they ask you one question, you use pages to answer it. So give me the time because Nigeria need to understand why a man who lived by background refused to acknowledge that a peaceful protest can be used for regime change. I emphasize regime change because I understand the logic. I led from the front. These people you are measuring, I don't know them. If I don't know them. You don't know EIE Nigeria? I don't know their faces. And I am happy that, listen, excuse me? You don't know EIE in Nigeria? Take it Excuse back, Nigeria. Me. Now, I even wonder, it was a thing by Nigeria. I said, who has occupied Nigeria? In fact, this was the one that suggests that people wanted to regime change. When they say, we want, to rec rec uh, we want to reclaim Nigeria, I said, is Nigeria currently under foreign authority? Is Nigeria, is uh, Tinubu not a Nigerian? The southwest he comes from, is he not part of Nigeria? Who is that guy? Who uh, are those groups who wants to reclaim out. Nigeria Come for right. Nigeria? Come right. And excuse me, all the names you mentioned here, I am I listen attentively. I don't even know if I don't know some of these faces. At no time did they sat on a common platform to say this is who we are. Excuse me, the business okay. of governance okay. is not a Tea Party. Okay. And when I saw people say Tinubu, excuse me, because at the heart of the question by Ruben is, was President Tinubu's response appropriate? I say yes. Uh, the what oh, was Omar Okay, okay. Com comrade, I, I have I, had you. Comrade, I, I have listened. Comrade. I am open to dialogue. Comrade. Even that one. Even that one. I saw people saying, set up a panel to negotiate. To negotiate with people who are in Washington, people Com who comrade. don't know their address. Comrade. You may know them. Comrade. I don't know them. Yes. Comrade. Comrade, uh, yes. this is Rufai, yes, this is Rufai sir. speaking. Rufai sir. speaking. Yes. Oh, Mor Rufai, how are you? Very well. Morning, sir. Comrade, let's Thank be you, sir. truthful in Nigeria. Because I see we lack a lot of truth, and that's why our lives are never going to be better as a country. The day we start to speak the On truth... Side, yes. Truth is costly. You can't defeat the truth. Uh, and that's why I have the courage me, to speak my mind. Let me learn, comrade. You are saying today... Yes, that when you people went out for Occupy Nigeria in 2012, the word Occupy, you are, you are blaming... I wasn't part of it. No, hang on a minute. I'm saying when all these were many Nigerians, including the current president and affiliation with the political party, the APC, went out then protesting against subsidy, you are saying that the word Occupy Nigeria doesn't mean to take over Nigeria. You are saying they didn't probably threaten regime change and all of that. Comrade, the truth has to be said that the group that organizes this protest is not faceless, except you choose to say you don't know them. You are saying you don't know DJ Adin You are saying you don't know uh, Yemi Adamolem, which are people that have been frontline, you know, civil society activists in this country. These are people that also made impute in other protests. They are a valid group. So let's set that side apart, uh, apart first. Let's set apart that side. The second one, you said the president, when he gave his speech, it was a good speech. A lot of Nigerians say no. If you read that speech, apart from the conciliatory part of, yes, I'm sorry about the fact that people died, which a lot of people blame the president because if he had come out to speak on time, that protest might not have even hold in the first place. 
but he left it until after people died to come and speak, which was an abdication of responsibility. He now went ahead to rearch promises that we already know. Let me give you empirical facts this morning. As of 2022, Timmy Pre Silva's target was to get over 5 million CNG cars on the road. President Tinubu promised 1 million CNGs. That's even a backward walk from Timmy Pre Silva's promise. He said he's going to do 10 million hectares. He said he's going to cultivate 500,000 hectares last year. We have not seen the full. But don't forget also the fact you politicians come out to tell us how broke government is. In fact, the deficit is also increasing. He said he's going to do, a, he's giving over 570 billion to the state. Some of the states came out to say that they've got nothing really. We said we are shame palliative. People can't feel the impact. So a lot of people say it was just another campaign rhetoric, empty on promises and less on impact. And you said that speech was okay. So my two questions are, can I reply, sir? Yes, go ahead, sir. You yes, have the sir. floor. Yeah, you have two questions because you spoke at less. So reduce that to two questions. Yes. The first question is. What are your two questions, sir? The people know. You people know the organizers of the protest. Do not say it was faceless because it's been hijacked by people. And ample intelligence was provided that it was going to be hijacked. What did the government do about it? You people know the organizer of, it was not a faceless protest. That's the first question. I'm challenging your initial narrative. And I'm saying the president's speech was flawed. And I've given you empirical facts. Excuse me, um, my dear friend Rufai, I hope to see you in the very near future so we can have a tea without, or after this session. And we dance again. You are entitled to your evaluation. Excuse me, I will dance again. And I have improved even at that age. <laughs> but you know, one thing you have to agree is that one man's sense of objectivity is another man's uh, idea of, obje uh, of uh, objectivity. What people say, I am being uh, uh, factual, as you have claimed. I am being objective. You are objective sometimes only to the extent that you are not aware of your own biases or you are not aware of your own subjectivity. This is fact in social sciences. And to say that one evaluation is standard, any deviant is wrong, is not valid in social sciences. Now, I told you one word. It's not about all those who want the president mention was just to remind people that he has not been sleeping. If he says he will farm, he will have farm and produce all the food in one year, if it was that easy to produce the food in one year, from Obasanjo's Jones return to school in his first coming as military government, as a military head of state, I saw him with joy as a villager. I saw a president with them, uh, 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 Chief of General Staff uh, Yaradwa, say school to farm program. I remember uh, uh, President um, Cheo Shagari saying, we want green revolution. All these governments have promised this. This man is only in office for one year. He outlined what he's going to do. And Rufai, how long does it take, did it take to set up a credible, now highly competitive Arise television? From the day my dear friend conceptualized the idea, and I told him it's impossible. I can reveal to you, I and uh, KK discussed, I said, this man is always into, how is he going to compete with CNN? How is he going to compete with China already established? Today, it's a reality. It's not just in existence. Arise has become an authoritative national network. Between conceptualization and realization, it takes time. It takes huge time. Now, why I say these people are faceless and that the water regime change? I listened to all these names you mentioned, plus others. I don't know them. You can't say I know them because you know them. Now, who, which Nigeria does not know Wale Shoika? Who didn't know Ganifa me of blessed memory? Who doesn't know Femi Falana? You see, the, the issue of we know some individuals, how much trust do those individuals combined in the bar of the average Nigerian? Those people carry sticks in Do you know Showare? Those people who... I know Showare as a defeated presidential candidate. <laughs> and when you are defeated in election, you wait for the man who won, you give him time. So what else you know, I have interviewed, he had interviewed me in Washington and I've met with him. I like what he was doing. I think he should have, he became 
one of the most authoritative force online uh, a tip publisher, Sahara Reporters. What you get from Sahara Reporters, I often wonder, how does he get his information? In my view, he was at his best. But once he dragged himself into politics and contest election, he has become a politician. And if you discredit politicians, uh, Rufa, as you often do, Senator. you can't pick and choose. Congress Senator. So, so they cannot be seen as speaking, people will see him as still nursing the grievances, I mean, the pain of his defeat. Congress so Senator. that is not the guy to speak for those people in Kano, for those who throw Bob in Maiduguri, for those who hijack uh, vehicles in, uh, in NDC. Number three, what did you expect a president to do when he is mourning the death of people avoidably? No president will throw ice cream where the nation is under stress. Senator. He didn't need to smile unnecessarily because he wasn't addressing... Um, Senator. He wasn't... Listen, uh, you have to give me the opportunity, sir, with due respect. He wasn't celebrating October 1st or Democracy Day. He was addressing rioters and protesters that have claimed life. He needed to wear a face of a president that recognized. Did you want the British Prime Minister? Did you see how he addressed the British people following the riots in Britain? He didn't deny the fact that three innocent children should have been killed. However, that was not a justification for looting and, and violence. And he said, we will deal firmly with this right-wing economy, uh, right-wing uh, protestants, these extremists. We will deal firmly. We will bring them to justice. I, did, I, I didn't see him saying, uh, Mr. Ice Cream, increase ice cream from uh, Arabs and distribute to them. No, no, no leader. We watch his, those smokes in different parts of the country. And they come and wear a smile. My children, I'm appealing to you. He stole the children. I have listened. I have heard you. That is loaded. Minimum words, maximum wisdom. Now you want him to decree on the heart of us. Even if it was lawmaking, can he decree a law? He's not in the position to do so. Now I have listened. What I expected, people like you, eh, Rufai, people like uh, you, um, Ruben, you, I saw you say he should have made the address before. Let's face it. Play back a lot of your own coverage of the villa. And you will see a different fora. President Bola Metinubu says, I understand the unintended consequences of what, of some of the bold decisions I have taken. Now, I had a huge challenge to make between margin the exchange rate to avoid these threat seekers being in business where a central bank governor can make a ruben. If he likes you, he allocates you $5 million. You become $3 million rich overnight. You don't need to work okay, again. Dr. Abati needs and to come in here. He can, wait, and he said, I could have... Wait, 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 wait. Dr. No, Abati needs to come because of time. Mr. Shomole, he needs to come in. For people in. like me, for people... Please, it needs to come in here. But at least I mean, now, Dr. Abati needs to ask you a question because of time. But at least I'm happy now you now know one of the protest leaders, Showare, so because, because you said you don't know any of them before. So I'm happy at least you've claimed you know one now. Dr. Abati, please, I, say, I, do not, I do not recognize the legitimacy of a protest from Washington. I do not. Okay, you can't Dr. be in Washington and be organizing protest in Nigeria. Case, in no, those are absentee leaders. Excuse me, we call those ones absentee leaders. Uh, uh, desktop leaders. No. I left from the front. I collected tear gas in the premises of Guardian newspapers. Okay. I did it Senator. at in the premises of Federal Secretariat. Senator. I did it in in Shomolu in Lagos. So excuse me. So when we are talking, how can you ask a serious president, a, a president elected, to now allow one of those he defeated to go to the comfort of Washington and be shouting from there? I say, I am directing you. I'm hungry. If he's hungry, he's going to fish Nigeria from Washington. Come on, let's be serious. Protest is not a Christmas party. Okay. It's not disability ice okay. cream. Very quickly, I wanted to So, should do what is best. He should have called to Nigeria. Excuse me. When I was NSC president, I pressed uh, Tinubu, increased fair price to a level I consider it zero to our economy. That was the first battle. From 10 naira to 30. I came back from Geneva where I was a board member of an international labor organization. Because for me, if I'm not home, what am I doing in Geneva? I came back home. 
Oh, okay, I left from before. I told my okay. go to our Senator, we need to go to Dr. Abati. Thank you. Eh? Senator. Yeah. Senator. Thanks for staying connected and watching the complete video. Like I said from the beginning of this video, Adams Oshiamale he came fully prepared. It was as if he already asked everything he was going to say. Or everything, I mean, he already asked the answers to every question. And it is not as if he answered every question he was asked because Looking now to the particular main reason for this peaceful protest from the beginning, he was saying another thing because he was comparing it to what he did during his own time then. And like likes of uh, Wale Shoyinka, uh, from the beginning, he said something about uh, they didn't know the people behind this peaceful protest. They never had any until he started now mentioning their names. Uh, that was when he mentioned Omoyele um, Shoyinka. There were a lot of things he didn't talk about, but it was only stating the fact that President Bola Tunubu did the right thing. He didn't give up on his people. And yes, we appreciate him for coming out to address the people and to put an end to the nationwide protest. But he didn't talk about what the people want. Fine, they were distributing rice. But how many people came out to say that, oh, my on behalf of me and my household, this is what we receive all. Nobody, no one has come out to say, oh, we receive rice also, but that is not what we want. That is not going to solve the problem. Although, fine, it is going to solve at least some percentage. But, in fact, this rice, it was also reported that some people were re repackaging the same rice. So, what are we now talking about? There's so much we need to discuss. So, let us know what you think about everything in the comments. Feel free to share your own genuine opinion. And don't forget to like this video and share to other different platforms. Thank you. And stay tuned for more updates.